everybody kind of knows everybody and friendly and if something goes wrong or need some help there's always somebody that's willing to help a lot of pride here and proud of where i'm from a precocious prodigy the game of golf was his first love it was just a god-given ability uh the first time he ever swung he still had diapers home he played other sports and he was good in other sports but he always loved golf the most success came quickly he made the high school varsity golf team as a third grader his achievements led to a scholarship at the university of kentucky and vaulted him to the cusp of a lifelong dream it was just kind of a step-by-step -step process in high school obviously a dream was to be able to play on the pga tour but it's a big step from a small town so it was just believing in myself and realizing that i could do it he turned pro in 2005 and quickly proved he belonged, winning the PGA Tour qualifying tournament. And in his fourth PGA Tour event ever, the small town kid stole the spotlight. When you're walking down 18 and you're winning, that's the moment you dream about. And there's a whole lot more that goes into that moment than just that. A lot of work and effort. JB about to change a career and a life. He's the champion at 23. The kid from a small town in Kentucky was now living the tour dream, far removed from his humble beginnings. But when he faced his greatest challenge, it would be those Campbellsville roots that helped him persevere. Over the course of a few weeks in May of 2011, JB's health started to get progressively worse. I sat up and I was so dizzy I couldn't even stand up. I had to sit down. I was getting over the putts and I felt like I was, I was gonna fall over. And then I started getting these bad headaches. It was scary at first because you didn't know if it was anything that he could overcome or, I'd never heard of it. He knew he couldn't compete. That's why he just kept on, we've gotta you know, find somebody that knows what's going on. You know, the scariest thing was almost the not knowing really what it was and, you know, could it be fixed? After four months and six different doctors, JB was properly diagnosed with Chiari malformation, an abnormal growth where the brain and spinal cord connect. I was almost like relief. I was like, all right, an answer, you know? Successful surgery was the first step in a long road back to PJ Tour golf. So as he walks the fairways this season, almost fully recovered, he walks with an improved perspective. Look where you were and look where you're now, you know, bogey's not that bad. <laughs> There's good with everything and it's been a huge awareness. We still have lots of people contacting saying, you know, we heard your story and, and we, you know, just made our doctor do this test and that's what it was. To be able to influence people's lives and to maybe even change their life, that's very touching. I'm proud to be of it part of the sport. They do give back and hopefully it shed light on it for other people and can and help other people um, you know, figure out some problems maybe they're having. Hey, hey. how are you? I'm good. Hey, Amanda, hey. nice hey, to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. This is Zachary. Hey, At the 2012 hey, Players' Championship, Tyler. JB met with the Windorfs. The three boys, Zachary, Braden, and Skyler, all suffer from Chiari malformation. I don't like scars. Oh, I don't like them either. I got one too, though, see? See his scar? Ah. See? see? Yeah. Like you. Told you. Just like you. They shared their stories of triumph. What do you guys like to do? I'll drive my bike a lot. He told That's me. I like to ride my scooter a lot. Their achievements. Hi, Mom. Hi, Paul. Hi, Paul. Hi, Paul. There we go. Their perseverance. You guys want to hit a few pots? Sure, 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 come on. And smiles that will last a lifetime. I just feel like I'm a kid from Campbellsville, Kentucky. I didn't feel like I deserved that or anything for them to, to come out there, but they were really appreciative to be out there, and I was thankful they came out and looked like they had a good time. There you go. All right, give me five. Nice. 